Hello and welcome to Patrick's Models and Transport. Uh, I'm a bit late this evening because I wanted to uh, I wanted to do this video nearly an hour ago, but uh, I switched uh, switched the computer on to answer to a long WhatsApp message on WhatsApp Web and found out that the sound wasn't working. And that would have been a bit of a problem because tomorrow I have to do some lessons online and no sound, no work. Uh, I just had to reinstall the, the sound driver, so that was that, so it fixed the problem. Right, -o. so we're going to fit the front screens on this rail car of ours. And uh, a bit of gunk there, that's nice. Okie doke. Right, let's pop a spot of, there we go, some glue and glaze here, and uh, we will proceed to fitting the, to fitting the, oops, the, uh, the glazing. So here's a glazing, which I cut, wait a minute, if I can get it out of there. It wouldn't be bad. Okay, folks. Right. Okay. Let's get this done. So I'm going to pop a put a spot of uh, glue and glaze here along the window frame, around the window frame, and then just very gently drop the, the glazing in place. So I'm trying to hold everything in a way that we can actually all see what I'm doing. Right up, just a spot there. Glue and glaze is a very good glue, but very good glue because you can, if any of it goes on the glazing, you can remove it once it's set just by wetting the glazing with a wet cotton bud and uh, and then you can and then you can remove it using a toothpick, a wet toothpick. So I don't need to insist too much. I want to foot I'm I already fitted the glazing on one flank of the of the rail car. I don't want to fit it, you know, I want to fit the, the front screens before fitting the other one, the other side, because it might be a bit tricky afterwards, so let's just go in here like that. I'm trying to not... Uh, there we go. And there, like that. And down here like that. And glue and glaze is very, very, very good type of glue, uh, which is, I think as far as I remember, it's a PVA glue, but it's very flexible glue. And uh, Arcadia Model Junction, he was mentioning it the other day. And he gave quite a lot of technical... It is a PVA-based glue because it smells of PVA-based glue. So it is PVA, but it's very, very good. You can you can paste metal parts. You can do all sorts of things. So it's an excellent product. Right, that's that in place. Let's just keep, get the piece of glazing and see if we can get it going. This is a tricky job. Also because I don't want to I don't want to scratch the glazing. So let's hold that in position like that. Get it in and try and not get the thing dirty with glue. And try and not just I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Let's get going. One, two, three. Is this too long? Oh no, this one's too long. Let's get the other one maybe shorter. I'll have to maybe slice a piece off this. Yeah, 
yes, this one's right. So I have to cut the sliver off the other one. Okay, let's get a, another toothpick to sort of wedge it in place. Let's try and not make an absolute mess of this. Okay. I think we're good to go. Right, I'll take a, press it in position using a cotton bud because the cotton bud can apply the required pressure but without, there's a wee bit of overlap on there. Let's see. And you can see that there's a black line on there. No? On the, on the, you can see there's a black line. There's a black line here. And I use, because when I cut glazing, I use a glass and metal marking pen to mark it. Which is not, not bad because this here is sort of imitating the window rubbers. So even if that will be, that glass, that black line will be sort of visible, that's, that's sort of imitate making, making the window rubber effect. So that's us. There we are. That's a, actually, I fitted some, some glue up here. I didn't really need to put glue up there because it's cut. I cut, I cut the glazing one centimeter in height and 3.1 millimeters in width so we're it's touch and go absolutely so but it's okay to hold it in place that's us that's very nice there we are there's a wee a wee drop of glue right there but i'll get rid of that tomorrow once it's set i'll just go there with a wet toothpick and that'll come off and then i'll polish it up so we're not going to touch it anymore now because we want the thing to set Let's see if I am pushing it by doing the other one as well. Hmm. I don't really know whether to push it and try and do the other one because you never know what the phone decides to pack up. Let's see if the other one fits. No, this one's a bit, it needs a bit sliced off it. Let's slice it off. We've got the glue going. I think we should manage to, to do the lot. Right, oh, let's just slice this off here. It's an excess. Maybe there's a millimeter too many here. Let's get rid of that. It'll be time to change this cutter blade soon. It's beginning to be to feel blunt. Yeah. Got rid of that. And now we'll go and do the other side. Let's see if it fits. Yes, it fits perfect. No problem at all. Let's get the paste and we'll do this as well. I know that it's important to put the paste here. And there. In the corner over here. And a spot over here. Try not to make a mess of the other piece of glazing, which is already in place here. That's us, and maybe a spot top and bottom just to, just to make sure that it grips well. And then we're nearly finished. And I've nearly finished, and so a spot here, and a spot along the top, just the dirty. I can put less now. I don't need to make it so... so use so much glue there okay let's get the bit of, bit of glazing pop it in there ah this is being a bit messy 
This is my messy. What's here? Oh, just what? What's this mark mark here? Uh, sliver of plastic. Let's just get that dropped in position. No way you can use tweezers when you do this job here. You go in with your fingers and push it in place with a toothpick. Make sure it's centered and then you go in with the cotton bud or lug hauker if you're speaking Scots English. I don't teach these kind of words to my students. And that's us. There we are. That's ready. Two screens. Two screens fitted and definitely we can call it a day. Yeah. That's it. We'll let this set overnight. We're getting closer and closer to hitting the rails. Cheerio! And see you next time. Ciao, ciao.